Today is a tiring route, where the closing kilometers should suit the punches, and an opportunity to lead the general classification. We're amongst the outsiders for the stage win, but the odds are fairly open, and we can hope for more than a top five place if we play our cards right. Good race, guys. Go, go! Hello and welcome back to some more Tour de France 2020 and part 12 of our playthrough. Today we've got the 12th stage which starts off reasonably flat but it is pretty hilly towards uh, the end of it and uh, is, is pretty much a constant incline all the way to the finish. We're not one of the favourites today but certainly could make an impact with a lander if, uh, if the, the, the other favourites get uh, caught out. It should be a... a a stage that plays into our hands, if you like. You know, there's nothing particularly challenging about it. I think we need somebody in the breakaway. Maybe a, a Mahorich. Uh, just to try and tighten his grip on the... Uh, on the the polka dot jersey. And uh, hopefully get Lander there for the second class uh, time bonus. Um climb so we've got first 20 of the stage for Puels uh, nothing for Lander today first five for, for Toynes although he's looking pretty tired so I don't see that happening if I'm honest uh, retain the lead retain the lead and uh, nothing else so Colbrelli Caruso and Toynes definitely uh, and, and maybe even Bilbao will be staying cozy in the peloton and uh, I think Mahorich is going to be the man that's going to lead us out so here we Hello, go cycling fans everywhere with almost 220 kilometers in the saddle and a finish of uneven terrain, this stage should throw up an interesting fight for victory. So we're away, straight away, with the pace car. Yeah, uh, step on it a little bit there, didn't he? Well, that was quick. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy for an attack. Take a little bit of red gel. So straight away, going for it. Guys, there's a difficult stage on today's menu. It's long, and there's plenty of climbing inside the final 50 kilometers. You're going to have to keep something in the tank if you want to shine at the finish. Have a good stage. So yeah, we we'll want to keep something in the tank. That's good enough, lads. There's no way we can lose the green jersey today. It's good. So I think we'll uh, we'll be looking pretty good um, if they at the end of today. We'll make too big of a breakaway. The peloton prefers to ride and claw back those in front. Don't let the counter attack catch up. Might as well just sort of keep going at this pace. We're going to let that guy go past us. I think. So I need him World to champion help at us out. Junior and under twenty-three level, Mateusz Moric is reputed for his unequalled qualities as a descender. I mean, he's just said Morich. I'm sure he said Mahorich late earlier on in the in the tour. Is he gonna pass us? There we go. Nice. A mountain bike specialist, Alexis Vuillermoz, made a successful switch to the road, as evidenced by his stage win in Mur de Bretagne on the 2015 Tour de France. So there's Petit. He's gonna do a bit of uh, the relay for now, which is good. So I'll see you guys when we get to that third class climb, unless something crazy happens. On a more irregular look, with notably the first classified climb of the day. So we've got a class three climb coming up. We've uh, done pretty well in this breakaway. There's nine of us just working our way. Two minutes thirty ahead of the peloton, so it's going pretty there will be well. Two and one point for the mountain standings. So definitely want to ensure a, a minimum tempo up this mountain. Don't want to use too much energy. You still have two kilometers before you reach the summit. So this is exactly where Mahorich. Uh, can you know exert his dominance over the the other guys? And, uh, Watch out for him. He's the best puncher in the breakaway. Well, apparently, Malema's the best puncher, but 
you know, it's going to flatten out once we get up here. So, that's we're going to put a slight bit more pace in just to give ourselves a bit more leeway. Go for it a little bit more. Try and leave it as late as possible. Rollins going for it. But I think we're going to come out on top nice and easily. Two points in the bag. Excellent. You increase your lead on the overall climber standings. So there we go. That was pretty much perfect. Couldn't have asked for any better there, really. So we've got a good, pretty much three minute lead on the Peloton. Things are looking good for the guys in the Peloton. And uh, I'll see you guys for the next climb. Well, here's the next climb. You can see Wellens has caught up a little bit. He's certainly a, a, a challenger. Just going to flatten out a little bit here. Time gap to allow you no more of a lead. Probably with their eye on the overall standings. So, at the one kilometre line, not far to go. You can see the finish line around there. Nice British flag and a good sim symbol to go for. And once again, this should be another three points, uh, two points in the bag. Watch out! So You'll soon go. have no more energy for an attack. Nice and easy. Certainly settle for that. So, good day for Mahorich so far. Is in the feed zone. We might as well take the rest of our feeds before we hit the feed zone in a couple of kilometres time. We'll check everybody else is doing alright as well. I assume we'll be pretty fine and dandy at the moment. Might as well tell everybody to take their, their blue gel. And maybe their red gel as well. Okay, I'll consume a feed. So red gel. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know what Puels was doing, but whatever he was doing. I think we told him to do the same. So there you go. You can see we've got a three minute gap to the peloton. And uh, things are going well so far. The front of the race is 10 kilometers from the intermediate sprint. Guys, after the intermediate sprint, things will really start to get serious. The road either goes uphill or downhill. You're going to have to keep a clear head despite all those kilometers you've ridden. Good luck. Well, just came through the sprint there. Didn't quite notice that we were we were so close to it actually. Um, but yeah, uh, what we got with Cavendish here, twenty fifth at the moment. I think he could possibly do something, get some points, which will be good. Riders up front still have something left. They're upping the pace to try to hold That's out the lead. Tell him to attack as well. Might as well get him some points. So here we go. Cavendish is going to come through in 10th. The gap seems which is to awesome. And there you go. Colbrelli manages to get through as well. So we'll just tell him to persist without limit. And wait for the following group. And, and all will, will be good. So we've got uh, a fourth class climb coming up. And then a third. And then a second. And then a bit of a downhill stretch before the sprint to the finish. But, uh, yeah, with Mahorich at the front, I think this could be a breakaway victory. But two and a half minutes, you never ever know how that's going to come down. But I'll see you in the next climb. Understood. I'll take it easy, whatever happens. Before you reach the summit. 
Okay, so a little bit of a, a steep bit. Breakaway is unlikely to go all the way, guys. Watch out for counter moves. So Dugenta's kind of gone for it a little bit. There's no point overexerting ourselves here for His team is riding one point. The, overall but standings. the front of the race will struggle to widen the gap. Yeah, we'll just sort of stay in touch if Here's you like. The over the last climb. And it was Costa that got the got the point. Just try and catch up to those guys. But there's a decent group of us, you know, and that, and that makes me think we can hopefully keep this going for a little while longer just yet. A teammate has just been dropped. You can't count on him any longer. Riders third category, there will be two points and one point to be scored for the best climber jersey. Well, we're three kilometres from the top here. Just got to keep an eye on the guys in the peloton and make sure none of them blow up. There is uh, Caruso, but he's already had his blue feed. Might give Bill Bow his blue feed and maybe quells in a, okay, in a little bit. I want to try and keep as much in reserve as possible for later on. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Sticking the Costa's wheel here. We'll take a little bit more feed. It will flatten out as soon as we get past this green van, really. So, see, it's not much of an incline up to the finish line now. 1.7 kilometres to go now. Let's keep an eye on the guys in the peloton. They're, they're looking alright. Um, Colbrelli is looking pretty dead but nothing we can really do about that you know sprinters and the, the flat riders are, are not really going to get anything out of these sort of stages and there's going to be a steady incline again five percent up to the the finish line which we can see so just around this corner now we're going to go for it Gone a little bit early, but I think we'll be fine, and we're going to get the points. Awesome. You're over revving. Reduce the tempo, or you'll pay the price. So, looks good. There's Benut. So, a little bit more to climb, and then it's just downhill. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. So, three minutes forty is the gap to the peloton. Caruso's looking like a, a man that's going to die out there today. Yeah, we just need to keep going and I, I believe that it is going to be a, a sharp descent very, very soon before we've got that second class climb, which comes with a time bonus. Not sure we're going to get Lander anywhere near that. Well, we're going to switch to Lander here. We are at the bottom of this uh, this climb. The mountain sprint in two kilometers for the breakaway group. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, but I want to get Lander a bit better placed here. I want him at the f the head of this. Don't want him following all these guys. So you can see, just trying to. Trying to take it to them a little bit. That's better. So, so just want to put a bit of pace in now. One kilometre to go for um, Mohoric. We'll see how he's getting on. Um, he's third currently. So, 
So whether we tell him to up his tempo a little bit. And we just go back on board with, with Lander. And what will be, will be for... I'll go full out on the relay. Hopefully he's leading the way. It's always difficult to know. But no, nobody that's important for the general classification is up there. But we'll see now no who's going to come across. Four. Okay. That's fine. So he got a point. So I'll just have persist without limit. Work with opponents. Everyone that seems to be on fine. par. It won't take cunning to surprise your opponents. Oh, nearly ended up falling over there. But I tell you what, if we can get up this climb, there's not much to go after this, so I'm going to try and punch a little bit. Gain a bit of time here. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy for an attack. So here we go with Lander. I want to be on the grass. He's asked his teammates to chase you down because you're dangerous for the overall standings. You're going to have to try and hold out. I mean, we could get Mahorich to to wait for us. But I'm going to have a bit of that. I'm going to put a bit of pace in here. got too much room to manoeuvre here. Only got eight seconds on him. But desperately trying to make up some time now. Fifteen kilometers from the finish for the group at the front. So we've only got so 17 seconds, but it could be crucial. And what we could do with is him attacking, him attacking and coming and joining us. Maybe him as well. He's being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. Can they catch us? That, that's going to be the big question. But no. We're back with the yellow jersey man. It's a shame. There's Geraint Thomas. It's a shame, it was a, a good idea, and we've got rid of Rodgelik, I think. We're actually now the Peloton. Yeah, Mahoric is, uh, is now We are ten kilometers off. from the end of the stage, and there's still everything left to play. So, let's have a little look at how Mahoric is doing. Get him to take his blue feed. Lander too as well. Why has he not took his blue feed? Gonna have to go with somebody else, I think. There we go. Right. So just keep them in the in the peloton, I suppose. Only five kilometers left for the head of the race. Trying to get some uh, energy back here. So we're seventh now. The group at the front are onto the long false flat that leads to the finish. Hey, 
don't think Mahoric is, is going to have much of a chance here. So we got 2.9 kilometers to go. So Ala Felix is actually is actually bolting it a little bit. Hmm. I think yeah, we need to manage the gap a little bit with those. So we got 1.8 kilometers to go. Ala Felix could well get the yellow jersey back here. I'm not entirely sure how far behind behind he is. Two minutes four, so he needs to try and make up another minute to get the yellow jersey. There we go, final kilometre. So Benut wins the stage. Costa finishes second. Mohoric is... Uh, He's going to finish up there. He's going to blow up as he comes over the line. I think we finished sixth there. So that was pretty good. Right, now, full attention to Lander. So we need people to protect him. There we go, Caruso, useless. Right, blue gel, blue gel. Right, let's go for it. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Need to try and finish as strongly as we can. It's gonna, gonna be very interesting. Can't seem to take the feed for whatever reason. But here we come up to the line. And Lander's going to lose a load more time now. It's going to lose another minute, which is a disaster, really. Not good. Not good for us. Just didn't have the, the strength at the end there. So I think some mistakes were made there. Another minute or so lost. It's not it's not the end of the world, but hmm, not good. Not good for Mikel Lander there. That could well be our yellow jersey chances. Gone. So Benut wins it, and of course Fugel Sang still leading the way, Cavendish, Green, Mohoric obviously had a very good day for the polka dot jersey, but it's a bit of a disappointment for Lander, it has to be said. The director is probably pleased though. Today's result is most unsatisfactory. If things had gone our way, I reckon that we could have got into the top five. We retain the green jersey. Well done, guys. Yeah, it has to has to be said that's a bit of a disappointment. You know, that's going to be a, a tough one to swallow. Two minutes behind is Lander now. And we just don't seem to be getting the look. Really, uh, in this in this Tour de France, the last few stages just haven't quite gone our way. I wouldn't say it's over yet. You know, we're only halfway through, but we need a big improvement, and soon we need Lander to start eating into that time gap. So Mahoric uh, is now well, he got six. Well, he's got 68 points to 41 uh, of Bernal there. Uh, Cavendish is 98 points ahead of Ackerman at the top of the green jersey standings. But Al obviously still white jersey and we're still top of the team classification. 
which is something I'm very happy with. So let's have a look at our recovery. Not good. Not good. Yeah, we're going to really struggle in the in the mountain stages coming up. We've got a we've got a flat stage coming up, I think. So definitely something where we need to just chill in the peloton and not worry about Lander at all in this one. And just hope the other guys do the same. But if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Tour de France videos. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.